Punitive forces of Kiev encircled in the south of Lugansk region entered into negotiations with the People's Army of Novorossiya about the terms of surrender. The troops is located in Sverdlovsk district of Lugansk region between the villages Panchenkova and Birukova on the one hand and the Russian border on the other. Earlier, 12 fighters of pro Kiev had laid down their weapons and asked for asylum in Russia. Officers and soldiers who applied for asylum served in 72 motorized brigade. People's Army of Novorossiya hit one more Su-25 of pro-Kiev forces. The fragments of the plane located between the cities Yenakiyeva and Makievka. The pilot is being looking for. The representatives of Britain's largest trade union UNITE have claimed their solidarity with the peoples of Donbas rebellion and appealed to the United Kingdom government with a call to stop supporting fascist Kyiv regime. Here in the UK we must take up a firm attitude because we are the main ally of the USA, which supports the Kyiv authorities and this terrible massacre of their own people. We must demand our government to stop supporting of the Kyiv authorities and the expansion of NATO and the EU. The assistance of the General Secretary of the UNITE, Andrew Murray. Said. The fire of civil war is spreading across Ukraine. In Kharkov, at night from Saturday to Sunday on August 3rd, the armored repair factory was shelled from the flamethrower. The shelling damaged windows on three floors of the administrative building. The information was confirmed by the Office of the Public Prosecutor of the Central Region of Ukraine. <laughs>